guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to my Premier League predictions. I have been waiting so long to do these for you. Obviously the Premier League's back this Wednesday. I've already told you how I'm going to do it for the team that has got two fixtures in my Premier League restart video. So go feel free to go check that out after watching this and I explain how I all do it within this video as well. But I'm so excited for to do this video. I, it's back. It's finally back after three months break, after three months of this pandemic, after three months of we're not sure whether it's going to happen. It looks like football is back in the UK. I'm so happy for this. As I said in my Premier League restart video, I just hope it was in safer circumstances. But um, anyway, games a lot of guys to predict, so let's get straight down to it. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Let's go. So the first ever game I'm going to predict back in the Premier League is Aston Villa versus Sheffield United. Now Villa, this is a game in hand for Villa. So it's a big game for Villa as well. So you've got to really look at, you know, will they... Obviously, they're going to try and win this game. I think it's going to be quite an interesting game for Villa. But I'm going to put them down to lose this game in hand. Especially against a strong Sheffield United. Just hopefully... Sheffield United are still strong. Um, but as I said, no one knows, so I'm just going to try and, you know, as I do every week, try and guess the scores. But I've got a funny feeling at first it might be a bit off. But I'll go for a 3 1 Sheffield United win. My next one is the big one of the restart. It's Manchester City versus Arsenal. Manchester City must win this game to either keep the pressure on Liverpool. Arsenal have lost a friendly. Prior to, you know, this game. I don't think Arsenal are quite ready to come back into full match action. So I'm going to predict a draw. And I'm going to predict a one all scoreline for that one. I was nearly at a Man City win for that one as well. My next one is Norwich versus Southampton. Big game for Norwich. Norwich went off, if I remember rightly. You know, not in a bad state of mind. I think they won about two out of like five games or something like that. But Norwich must win this one to either try and get out of the relegation zone. Southampton, they went on a bit of a, you know, bit of a 50-50 uh, streak. I think this game's going to be quite an interesting one. I don't think it's going to be you know, one-sided as much. But I'm going to go for a one now Southampton win. My next one is Spurs versus Manchester United. This is a big game for the top four. A big game. So, where for, where's for this one? There's, you know, top four spot up for grabs. Ola Garcia seems to get his feet a little bit under the table before this manager break. With Man United. Jason Mourinho I'm still a bit unsure about. And yet Daddy Ali has been suspended for this game. So I'm going to predict a Man United win. And I'm going to predict a 2-0 Man United win. My next one is Watford versus Leicester. Now Watford are a team. As I've told you before. A team I very do much like. A team... I've actually been to their ground myself and it's a very friendly, you know, sort of welcome when we go up there. Let's start are yet again fighting for that top four spot. This game I think is going to be a bit crucial for Watford because, you know, there's a few teams that have got a tough run coming up either in that relegation zone or around that relegation zone. So, with Watford doing that in mind, how do I call this one? I'm going to go for a 2-1 Leicester win. My next one is Brighton versus Arsenal. Now, Brighton have beaten Arsenal quite a few times at the Amex. And as I've already said, Arsenal did lose a friendly prior to the Premier League fixtures and I think it was against Brentford and to make it worse it was at the Emirates Stadium but you know 
fair play to Brentford for doing that and they do very much look like a team that could maybe be in the Premier League for next season. But, yeah, but Brighton are a team that very much have to win this game to, you know, I know they got a tough one coming up. If you didn't know, that's where I'm from, that's who I support. But we've got a very tough one coming up with the likes of Leicester, Man United, Man City. I think this is a game that Brighton must win. I'm going to predict Brighton to win it just about. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Brighton win. My next one is West Ham versus Wolves. West Ham are very much a team that, you know, always don't oversee circumstances. But, you know... I'll be them to finish high this year and it ain't really worked out. Going up against a very good Wolves side who yet again are looking for European places. I do think that maybe it could be a shock on the cards for this one. But do I go for the full win for West Ham or do I go for a draw? I'm seeing a 2-0 West Ham win. Don't ask me why, but I know some of you Wolves fans can be commenting right now, but that's my predictions for that game. I don't know why, though, but I just think West Ham might edge that game. The next game is Bournemouth versus Crystal Palace. Now, Bournemouth, this is a must-win game for Bournemouth. They lose this game. They possibly see themselves at it. Out because I know they got a tough one as well. I think most of the relegation battle have got a tough one over the next few weeks. But going up against a Crystal Palace side, who their last game was on the 28th of February, and it was a a home, uh, sorry, a away win to Brighton. And I know that very well because obviously it's Brighton, so I support. And I remember looking at the fixture calendar after it's all called off. 28th of February, so, you know, we're nearly pushing the four-month mark without playing a game. Uh, as I said in my Premier League restart video, I ain't going to go back that far, there's no point. You know, it's all changed now. Do I f I'm going to edge this for a Bournemouth win, and I'm just going to go for a 1-0 Bournemouth win. Yet again, I don't know why, but i just got a funny feeling Bournemouth might edge it and it might just be a little bit more important to Bournemouth. The next one is Newcastle versus Sheffield United. Now this is my first, you know, two game. I stated in my Premier League restart video that if Sheffield United were to lose, I'm more likely to put them on the lose for this game if I win. You know where I'm coming from. But I think Sheffield United will beat Villa, so I'm going to go for, and don't forget to be a second game in like three days. I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Aston Villa versus Chelsea. I think Aston Villa, I don't know, I don't think they get that far with Sheffield United, but Chelsea is a different cattle of fish, and they're both at Villa Park, I've just realised. I think Chelsea might just edge this one. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 Chelsea win. My next one is Everton versus Liverpool. Merseyside derby. And yes, it's been cleared. It's going to be played at Grinison Park. <laughs> but, you know, Merseyside derby, if it goes Liverpool way, they could clinch the title. But yet yeah, that means Man City to lose at Arsenal. And then I think they got a draw or lose against Burnley. Um, but, you know, fair play. This is going to be a game that I'll very much be watching. I'll be watching all of them, funny enough. But this will be a game I'll be paying close attention to. I'm going to go for a Liverpool win. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 Liverpool win. Now, my last one for this weekend's predictions is Manchester City versus Burnley. Now, I can already hear you saying, well, what about Tuesdays? I will try, and I should succeed, to get the midweek games up prior to at 6 o'clock Brighton kick-off, who I think against Leicester. 
The only way you can stay up to date is by subscribing to my channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you won't miss it. But anyway, this is my last game, Manchester City versus Burnley. I'm going to predict Man City to win this game, and I'm going to predict a 2 0 Man City win. But yeah, as I've just said, make sure you subscribe to our Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn on your notification bell so you won't miss the next upload for the midweek games. It's going to be thick and fast these predictions guys. So make sure you start today. Hit that subscribe button as I've already said. And turn on your notification bell. But um, anyway guys this is where I'm going to bring this video to an end. So guys you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.